Hi, John Conley here. In this video, we're going to cover track groups. Very easy to do, very helpful tool for uh, mixing groups of items like drums, like I have here. I've got six tracks of drums, a kick, snare, overhead left, overhead right, tom one, tom two tracks. And I've kind of set them up in such a way that I like the mix, right? So the kick and snare, all levels have all been set. Get the click out of there. Okay, and that's great. I can change the levels as I want to by just clicking on the fader and, and dragging it up or down. But I want to keep these volume levels for each of the tracks uh, relative to each other as a group. I want to change the overall uh, level of the drums as a group. I can do that quite easily by creating a, a group of the tracks here. So I'm going to click on the kick track and shift click on the tom 2 so that all of the tracks in between there are selected. I'll go to track menu, choose group, and I will name it drums. And you'll see in this list here, just to give you a brief rundown, I've selected the tracks that I want to be included in this group, so it's automatically put those tracks over here in this right column. The left column is the rest of the tracks in this session. Uh, if I wanted to add one of those I, or more of those, I can. Just click on it and hit the Add button. Um, and of course, if I want to get that keys track out of the drums group, I can remove it from there as well. So that's a, a, a second way to determine what tracks will end up in your group. All right, so now when I grab any one of the faders of that drum kit, the whole kit moves so that it maintains the relative volumes between all of the tracks. This is really handy. Now, for instance, if I want to change the level of one track, I can do it in a couple of ways. You'll notice in the lower left corner here in the group section, there's my drums group. It's highlighted. That means that group is enabled, which means when I grab one fader, they all move. If I click on it and deselect drums, the group is disabled and I can move any one of the faders however I choose. I'm going to enable it. I want to keep the group intact. But here's another way. If you hold down the control key on a Mac, control key on a PC, it will temporarily allow you to adjust one or more of the tracks. And then when I let go of that control key, the group is enabled again. All right, so that's in the mix window. The group uh, track group type that I created here was both the mix and an edit, which is what I normally do. You can create a group that applies only to the mix window, or you can create a group that applies only to the edit window. Since I included both the edit and mix window, any selections I make in the timeline on any one of those tracks will apply to all of those tracks in that group. So if I want to edit things, I'm going to make a selection here. I can trim up the beginning. It's applying to all of the tracks in that group. This can be very handy as well. You'll notice there's another group in here. This is the all group. That's always there. That means all of the tracks are grouped. Occasionally it's handy to do that. You can bring down the levels of all the tracks or bring up the levels of all tracks, but you got to be sure to turn that off because uh, you don't always want to apply everything you're doing to all the tracks. All right, that is track groups.